Hey guys, welcome back to the Sparkle Eats Kitchen. I'm Megan from Sparkle. And all this month in the Sparkle Eats Kitchen, we are getting you ready for Christmas. Now that it's beginning of December, we have to start planning ahead. So today we're going to do a dessert. This is great to add to your cookie trays, or this is a good gift. It makes a lot and you can break it up. We're making a toffee here and it makes a lot. So then break it up, you can bag it, and then just give it away as gifts. It's perfect for teachers and your neighbors, anything like that. So as you can see, I'm steaming here. So I started moving this recipe along and I have four sticks of butter. And you just want to melt those down and to it I'm going to add two uh, cups of white sugar. It is a little bit of a labor of love. You have to kind of just stand over this and, and stir it because these two ingredients are going to just come together as toffee. So you want to bring this up to a boil and just let it keep going until it gets nice and thick and have an instant rate thermometer or a cookie or a a candy thermometer that goes up to at least 300 degrees. This has to heat to 310 degrees. So you just want to let it keep boiling and it'll start to turn a nice dark color. Okay, so I let this go for about seven minutes or so. And as you can see, there's a nice caramely color and we're just at 310 degrees. So the minute that that happens, you want to immediately take this off the heat and we're going to add one cup of chopped almonds and you can use salted almonds here and it adds a nice little salty flavor you know kind of like a salted caramel and you just want to give this a good stir make sure everything is combined because it starts to get pretty sticky pretty fast you want to work pretty quickly here okay now here I have a jelly roll pan and you just want to keep stirring this and you'll notice that a little bit of the butter may separate but that's okay and you just want to pour this in pretty quickly and just spread it all out and this will immediately start to harden up now we just want to let this sit for about three minutes before we put the chocolate on now that we've let our toffee sit for just a couple minutes I'm going to pour our chocolate chips I'm using semi-sweet here right over top and as they sit for a minute, they're going to start to melt because this toffee is hot enough. This never goes in the oven, so this is a no bake. And as you can see, we're starting to melt. So I just like kind of like to work it around here a little bit. And if it's not perfectly distributed, it's really okay because we're going to break this up into chunks. Then we're going to take a little bit more of our almonds, sprinkle this right over top. And that's all there is to this recipe. Then we just want to let this set up. So this will take a couple hours. If you want to move it forward, you can either let it sit outside, it's cold enough, or you can just put it into the refrigerator, let it get completely hard, and then you can break it up into pieces, which I'll show you. Our toffee's nice and hard now, so all you have to do is take like a butter knife and start to just get under the edges, and you kind of can break it up, and then just take it, and you can start to break it up into pieces just like that and they don't need to be uniform they probably shouldn't be uniform and then there you go you have your little pieces of toffee and then like I said you can either put this onto your cookie plate just to add a little bit of extra crunchy something to it or this is great for a gift bag it up I've given it to neighbors co-workers teachers anybody they'll love it and it's a great little homemade gift that all of your friends and family will love. 